Hello Excel friends, this is Craig with Kershalton Advisory and we're going to review the Microsoft Excel Expert Exam Practice Tasks for Section 1.2 where we're managing workbook review processes. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the 1-2C workbook. I have it highlighted here on the screen. We'll double click it to open. We'll move it up here. All right, so in this section of the practice task, what we're going to be doing is working on workbook structure protection. So this is different than just protecting, protecting particular cells. What this will also do is prevent a user from either adding or removing any worksheets to our work, workbook. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our review tab. And this time we're going to hit PW for protect workbook and insert the password that they've given us, which is M0S123. We're going to do that a second time. And hopefully they've matched here. Perfect. So now if I go and try and add a new worksheet here, in fact, I can't even do that. The plus to add a new worksheet is hidden from me. I can still switch tab to tab. But if I were to try and delete one of these tabs, you'll notice that this is not highlighted here. It doesn't give me that option. So the second task for us to do is to encrypt the workbook. Again, we can use our either select the back office through the file here, or we can use Alt F. Info, we're going to hit the I. And we are going to protect the workbook. It works right here in this section. And we will go down to encrypt with a password. So this is, you know, my understanding with the Microsoft encryption of these files is that it is medium secure, that a dedicated and experienced hacker would be able to get into these files, but it provides greater protection than, say, a password upon opening. So let's encrypt this. The password that they've asked us to use is the same as before, MOS123. It's going to ask us to do it a second time here. One, two, three. All right. And if they've worked, it now is encrypted. So you'll see this is highlighted here that it's been encrypted. So the next job is to close and reopen, or excuse me, to save it, then close and reopen. But we're actually going to save as first here. You know, I like to do that instead. So we will go in here and save it. We'll save it into the directory that's highlighted here. All right, so that is saved. We will close and then reopen the workbook. We will open. It's going to be in our recently used workbooks here. So there we go. It is, to confirm, it is asking for a password. So we will enter our password here. And everything has worked out. It is opened for us. Now we are going to add a worksheet to the workbook. So look, we go to, to do that. And of course, it's not going to let us to do that. So what we will need to do is go into our view tab or excuse me, our review tab. We're going to go into the protect workbook and enter the password to disable the protection. MOS123. And now we can add a new worksheet to the workbook. So that works fine for us. All right, we're going to save this. I'm going to delete this first. And we can close this. Or actually, before I close it, let's open up and check it with our results file. OK, it's asked for a password, so that's good. MOS, in this case, to open it up. And when we go in this, again, we are unable to add a new worksheet here at the bottom. We cannot delete and change the structure of the workbook in any way. In our review tab, we can MOS to unprotect it. And everything works as we expect. So thanks for joining me in part three here of the Excel Expert 1-2 practice tasks. Feel free to 
let me know if you have any questions or comments. Uh, let me know what I can do better or if there's any areas where you would like more detail than what I've gone to with these videos. Please either comment on the video or send me a direct message. If you look up and over in front of my camera here, okay, up over there, you're going to see a link to go to the next video in the series. Uh, good luck with your studying, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.